Hello and welcome to lecture number 12. In this one we're going to talk about how to work with images and how to capture events. In particular mouse events and keyboard events. And I'm always missing one word from this description. So yeah, we have mouse and keyboard in this lecture. So the NSView class inherits from NSResponder. And NSResponder is that meta class that describes all types of events that can happen to a class which is viewable and actually which is more important how to respond to different events and those are examples of methods in NS responder and of course in NS view because it does inherit from NS responder you can have mouse events and for different uh, buttons of a mouse. Some mouses have even more than two buttons, so for that one we have other mouse down. We have the up event, and those are different. I hope you understand the difference. The down event occurs when you just click, but you may hold the, the button down, and the up event occurs when you release the button. So you can use this combination of mouse down and mouse up to get something like dragging and we are actually going to use this in this lecture and of course you have mouse down and mouse ups for different buttons you have the scroll view uh, wheel and you can have even dragging events all together now we actually have more than this we have a lot of events from the keyboard from different devices but for now we're going to stick with the mouse and try to use it somehow so as you can see here all of them work with this class NS event. They accept the event and well they respond somehow. And this <coughs> method class NS event can describe any type of event in uh, the user can do, can actually generate. So NS event object contains information about how event wo uh, was triggered. And this is important because we want to know where it happened and what were the conditions when this event happened. So for mouse events, some useful methods are location in window, and that uh, returns us an NS point, the coordinate of this particular event. So if user clicked somewhere, you want to know where it happened. Another important thing is modifier flags. Uh, sometimes you click and sometimes you hold some button on the keyboard and then click. And shift click may be different from just click or control click or command click. And those keys you hold are called modifiers. And this method <coughs> accepts uh, the modifier flag. And you can use different flags. So you can describe events for different combinations of keys on the keyboard and the mouse click. And those are some, some other methods you can use, like the pressure on some devices like tablets, you can have the pressure, and that's just a float between zero and one, and you can get the information about how uh, what pressure is used by the user. You can get the click count, because by default the OS X supports three types of clicks. You can have a single click, a double click, and a triple click, etc. So let's actually use something of this information to make modifications to our application. You remember last time we created this kind of stupid but simple application that uh, used the scroll view and this custom view where we randomly generate this type of uh, picture. So it would be cool if we could go to file open and open a file which would be a graphics file, some image, and put that image on top of this view somewhere. So. We're going to do just that. First, in our app delegate, uh, let's create some new things. So first of all, now we want to use that stretch view class and we didn't import it, but we don't really need to import it in the H file because we're not going to use the methods themselves. All we need to do is get the idea of that class or get the, the name. So we can just use class and call it stretch view. And we have it. <clears throat> so class is different from import. It's not uh, some macro. It's actually part of the language. So don't forget to put semicolon here. So we need few 
things. Let's create a IB outlet. And this would be the stretch view outlet. And we're just going to call it stretch view. And we need an IB action. Oops, sorry. So let's call, create the IB action and call it show open panel. An open panel is the panel that you see if, well, you can see it in any application. You go file open and you can select a file. So this is a file, uh, the, <laughs> the open panel, and we want to, to kind of do the same thing. So we need, yeah, we don't need this. This is a H file. Okay. So let's go to our interface and actually add the thing that we want to use. I'm going to open my window and this is the window. So I want to make it a bit bigger and put a slider at the bottom. So I'm going to just going to put a slider like this. So uh, this slider will change the opacity or the tr transparency of the image we insert. So we can say on the extreme left, the image is not visible at all. And on the extreme right, the image is completely visible. And you can set the opacity. So the opacity is usually a float. And we want to make this one between 0 and 1, because there will be a float between 0 and 1. And we want to make it continuous, so it can have different positions between 0 and 1, not just 0 and 1. So that's fine. And actually, I want to do something about sizing. Because right now, if I resize the window, uh, when I run the application, uh, it won't connect to the bottom. So I want to do it something like this. So this should work. Let's just see how it behaves. I'm going to run it with Command R. And yeah, not really. So it probably didn't stick like so. This should be, no, still no. Yeah, I think I forgot. I just clicked it. So it should be like this. <coughs> okay, yeah, this is perfect. So. Let's make it one by default, because when we insert the image, I want it to be completely visible. And why didn't this change? I just set this to, to one. So the current is one, yes, okay, safe. All right, so now I want to bind my application delegate. I'm um, actually the, the value of this thing to application delegate opacity, because I have the opacity thing. And I'm just going to go to binding, bind the value, bind to, and app delegate. So I have my stretch view and opacity. Okay, so now this one is bound to, to the opacity of a stretch view. And we're going to use that stretch view to put the image on top. So. Now I want to connect that outlet I just created. So I'm going to control click on my app delegate and I have my stretch view uh, outlet. So I'm going to usually, as usual, put this here. Okay. Now I want this menu to be working with the open, but uh, I don't need any of those because they don't really do anything. So I'm just going to select those and hit delete. So just delete everything, delete this, delete the separator, delete, 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 delete. All I need is open and that's that's enough. Okay, so we have uh, we have the setup. Let's go and write some code. We're going to go to stretchview.m, the implementation file. And yes, here I need to import the stretch view and I have it. Okay, so First, I want to implement that IB action I created. So I'm going to go and write IB action and it's called show, how was it called? 
Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, this is not the place, of course. My bad, my bad, my bad. So I wanted to go to app delegate, uh, app delegate m and here, yes, I see this incom incomplete implementation because I, first of all, have to import stretch view. And second of all, I have to implement this show open panel. So this is why it's complaining. And I'm going to do this just that. Open, oh, show open panel. So here I want, first of all, create a new open panel. So I'm just going to call it NS open panel. And I need this uh, double underlined block to set it. Because, well, that's how it works. The I need to, to put this to use the open panel and I'm going to call it panel. And let's open panel. Open panel, just create a new, uh, new dummy open panel. And now I want to set the file type that is allowed to open. Well, I want to open just those image files, the JPEG, the PNG, the BMP, etc. So I, I can just specify them all, but uh, the smarter choice would be to use something like this. So I say panel set allowed file types, and I can just put some array here, but I actually going to use this with an NS image, uh, kinda. But the thing is, I just want to accept those file types that are supported by built-in class called NS image. So I can just say, well, NS image, give me your image file types. And this will return an array of file types, and this is perfect for my panel. Okay, so now I want to actually show the panel. And I'm going to go panel, begin sheet for, no, begin sheet model for window. And the window would be the window of my stretch view. So I'm going to say stretch view dot window. The completion handler should be the completion handler. So I'm going to kind of create it on the fly like this. And I'm going to say, well, if result, this one result, oh, I'm sorry, this result is equal to NS OK button. So if user selected the file and clicked OK, then I want to create a new NS image because the, yeah, what is this? And I'm going to call it image and I'm going to, well, create a new NS image and I'm going to do it like this not alloc, alloc, and going to init with for some reason it doesn't want so I get the ENS image with contents of URL And why doesn't it want? Okay, so let's just try panel and URL. And this is not the URL, like the internet URL, but it can be. The important thing is it's some path to a file. So and this integer result, I don't know, it just behaves weird. Result. Oh, this one. Yeah, okay. This is this, and I have that. Okay. Like so. Okay, well, what is wrong with this NS image? 
and this image and a look. Weird. So what is wrong with this? And this image declares the selector in control. Ooh. Let's just do this for now. Because we don't want to reuse the same panel next time we open it. But something is wrong. So NS image, create a new image, enclose the NS image analog. it with contents of hmm it's right here I probably made it a typo or something so this should work yeah so we got the image and now let's just put it on my stretch view so stretch view and I'm going to use the name of a method that is not created yet so this won't compile, it would say, well, I don't have the set image method. And we're going to write it. So that's it for show open panel, I think. Let's go to my stretch view.h and add a few things that we need to accommodate the image. So first, two new variables. First one is NS image and just call it image. Another one is float, and that would be the opacity. Okay. I need two more properties, so let's just put them here. I'm going to say property, and I need this property to be assignable. And I'm going to say float opacity. The other one, um, I didn't. I think I didn't talk about types of properties. This one be the strong relationship, and we just do it next time. For now. The important part is events. So let's let's finish with the event. So this one then is image and image. Okay. And why is it making the capital M? I don't know. So float opacity. What is wrong with this? Yeah, this is what's wrong. Okay. So we have the stuff to work with. So now let's uh, go to the stretch view node M and implement those. So first of all, I need to implement the getters and setters for that property. Now I have updated to the latest version of Objective-C and Xcode, so I don't really need to create uh, the getters and setters, nor I need to create the synthesizer. But in this case, I do need it because I want to put some custom code in the accessors. So. This is not a problem really. Let's go NS image, image. So this is the method that returns us an image and well, yes, it does return image. Nothing fancy. So what does it say? Yeah, uh, it complains because I don't have the setter yet. So I'm going to create a setter void and call it, let's make it like this. Uh, call it set image. And yes, it is this one. The usual thing is, well, I want the image to be, yeah, let's call this somehow like new image. And let's change it here as well. It doesn't really matter. We didn't need to do it, but this is nicer. The important thing is I want to say self set needs display to yes. And this is the line you're going to use every time you do some changes and changes with the view and you want the application to redraw the view. So you're saying the display needs to be changed. It needs to be updated. 
And next time it goes in a cycle of UI updates, it's going to take your changes and you're going to see them. Okay, let's do the same for opacity. Um, uh, this one is float. And it's called opacity, just return the opacity. And do the same, but with the set opacity and yes let's just call it x and make opacity equal to x and let's just do the same here so this one just make it x and I want to do the same I want to say well you need to update the view okay so first is well, we, we're done with this. Let's go to init with frame. And here somewhere in the end, let's say the opacity would be equal to one. So by default, it's one. And it uh, it's the same as my slider now. So I need now to, uh, to go to my uh, draw rectangle thingy here it is so okay let's somewhere in between here uh, at the end do this if I have the image so it, if it's not null and there is something I want to be able to do this. I want to create a new rectangle. I call it image rectangle. The image rectangle, why is it doing this? Jesus. Origin, make it just NS zero point. So make it start uh, in top, in, sorry, bottom level. This is where the origin and image rectangle dot size make it the size of the image well whatever the image is so let us now do this and let's create a new rectangle and call it drawing rectangle and make it image rectangle so this is what we're going to use and this rectangle for drawing the, the thing on the image. And now let's call the image. This is the instance of NS image and it, it can be drawn inside some rectangle. So I'm going to say, well, draw in rectangle and pass it the drawing rectangle. From rectangle, that should be the image rectangle. The operation is NS composite uh, composite source over. So just put it over whatever is at the bottom. And fraction, this is the opacity. OK, so I still have one error somewhere. Let's see where it is. And it says. Oh, that's probably just have to clean. If I clean, no issues. So sometimes it doesn't update as fast. So uh, you can just go ahead and run. If you see an issue which shouldn't be there, you think shouldn't be there, or you can just go for that clean. So let's run it. Yeah, I still have some error. And what is it now? Property naming convention for turning on object, and that is with NS image new image. Yeah, okay. Uh, I probably did something really stupid. I <laughs> I didn't know why. Why didn't you fix me? So this, of course, should be not the names. Uh, these are the names of the variables I'm I'm creating properties for and I for some reason thought those are the names of getters and setters So yeah, stupid me. 
let's go ahead and run this should be fine now so no changes for now and if I do this nothing changes nothing changes and if I go ahead and click file open oh yeah I didn't do something I didn't uh, assign this open so this doesn't work I go ahead and go to my main menu so I created that method called open uh, panel show open panel so I want to connect it to my open thing so I'm just going to control click to up delegate and I have the single IB action here show open panel so now they are connected and if I run them now this should work so go file open so I hope I have some image here yeah this is a bad example okay well those are the images the, the actually one image just with a lot of icons and this changes the opacity of the image so this one is not visible at all and it's really smooth okay well this is it for this module see you next time